Marco has asked uh, how you do customer development with network effects and also with uh, multi-sided markets and when you have multiple customer segments. And these are kind of related. Uh, the network effect answer is basically it's really hard and you're probably going to have to lead with the prototype and you're probably going to have to build the thing. Uh, the way you prove that a network effect business is working and is validated is you grow it and the growth is the evidence and you're not going to be able to get that out of a conversation. Uh, out of a conversation, you can show that people really care, the existing alternatives are terrible, but ultimately it's a case where the proof is in the pudding and you kind of need to build the thing. Uh, all the great stories in the world about how you're going to take down LinkedIn or, or Deliveroo or Uber or whoever, like they don't mean a thing if you can't actually show that growth rate. So that side of the marketplace, like often network effects are also multi-sided. Uh, like LinkedIn has uh, the recruiters and the people and some businesses. Deliveroo has the restaurants and the, the consumers. So often the, these two things go together. And with the multi-sided, uh, what has basically happened is you've just added customer segments. And often one side of the marketplace has a network effect and the other side doesn't. Uh, or like it needs to be grown. So if you wanted to credibly compete with Deliveroo, you could, for food delivery, restaurant delivery, you can talk to restaurants and they'll say, yeah, of course. I mean, if you get me access to more customers, we're going to use your service totally. Uh, but that doesn't really prove anything because the hard part is actually building that collection of consumers. Now, maybe you can find some unique value that makes restaurants so motivated, like you found a way to shift the business model or to adjust the offering to restaurants that it blows their mind and, and they're going to support you long before you have consumers. That's great if you can do it. Uh, often not the case. Often you need to kind of uh, just build a consumer network and, and you kind of do that on blind faith and product innovation. So you lead with the product, you iterate, uh, all the classic stuff that you know from, uh, from Lean Startup and the YC way of doing things. Um, if it is possible, like if you have multiple businesses on different sides of your marketplace, like you can just treat them as multiple customer segments. Like when a business buys, often they will be the economic buyer and then the end user, like the CFO pays for it, but then the floor staff are the ones using it. You just talk to all of them. You can validate each segment. Uh, it gets confusing when you can easily validate one with conversations, but then the other side, you need to lead with product uh, and just build the thing. So it's tricky. You're going to be blending multiple different uh, business strategies and validation strategies, and you want to be as rigorous as you can. Uh, but don't fall into the trap of basically validating the easy side and then believing you validated the whole business. Uh, I've seen a lot of companies fall for that. Like some friends in Bulgaria, they were doing something to drive traffic to bars and clubs with a, an app which recommended cool new places to go, which had drink deals. And all of the bars and clubs are saying, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you can get us customers, we'll send you money, no problem. And they kind of then overinvested and mistakenly believed that they'd de-risk their whole business when actually the hard part of that business is getting a bunch of consumers to use the app. So you want to stay focused on what's the risky question and then as much as possible, put your learning efforts into that. Conversations are going to be a tool you use, but uh, it's hard for me to imagine if you're building a consumer network effect business that you'd be able to get full validation with conversations. That's going to be a case where you're, you're, you're really face against the grindstone, trying to get people on there and, and, and build that growth rate. And once you've got that, everyone else will suddenly come onto your side. Um, you know, once LinkedIn has a big audience of people looking for jobs, it's like the easiest thing in the world for, uh, to make that sell to recruiters. So yeah, it's murky, not a clean answer. Definitely a hard case, but uh, be clear, multiple customer segments and be clear on for each of the customer segments is the risk. Uh, like, do I need to lead and validate with conversations or with a, a prototype? Where's the, where's the risk? And yeah, good luck. It's a, a tough road, but you can definitely do it. And the prize is big if you can make it happen.